Welcome back to a new video. Yo! What an epic chapter. And ladies and gentlemen, what an epic live stream. Black Clover chapter 283 is now out over at mangaplus.com. And yo, this chapter was absolutely legendary. There are so many things I want to talk about this chapter. And we're going to get to that. We're going to get to every single one of them. So stay tuned, ladies and gentlemen, for an absolute banger of a video. But before we jump into that, there is a few things I do want to talk about. First of all, putting all the jokes aside, this is a very serious matter. Yuki Tabata's offer comments for this week's issue is this. I had a comprehensive medical checkup at the end of the year. Obviously, he's talking about 2020. And it required a follow-up checkup that I didn't have time to go to. Make the time. This is very concerning. As you all know, for the longest time, Tabata's health issues have been slowly but surely creeping up. They're not on Togashi's level or on probably on Oda's level. But at the end of the day, Tabata is having some issues in his previous offer comments a few weeks back he used to say that he's been passing out at his desk randomly and he doesn't know why which is honestly just shocking that went by i'm happy he had a medical checkup but it's obviously quite concerning to see that he actually missed the follow-up checkup that was required um so all in all i just want to let a few seconds aside to hashtag pray for Tabata, because obviously, like, his health is, like, really majorly important. With that being said, moving on to better, brighter news. Black Clover is about to surpass over 500,000 views over on MangaPlus.com. So, ladies and gentlemen, if you have not read the official release of the Black Clover manga, go do that right now. We need to do it. Surpass your limits. 500 thousand views we have never been this close i think the closest we got was last week when we hit 484,000. we've now hit 494,000, which is just crazy so guys go over to mangaplus.com read and support the official release of the black of a manga with that being said though the next official chapter is next week sunday february 28th there is no break this week. I don't know why you guys keep asking me. Hey, Sammy, hey, Sammy, is there a break? No, why would there be a break? If there was going to be a break, I will obviously announce it. There might be a break after next week. Uh, just, 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 just uh, d talking about that on a matter of scheduling. But we'll have to wait and see for the week after for that. But ladies and gentlemen, with that being said, let's talk about how this chapter will, think ch will change things in regards to the future of Black Clover. straight into it no i am not starting with asta no i am not starting with noel no i am not starting with fugualion and no i am not starting with the theory we talked about near the end of that video which for the record i'll put in a separate video in the future i am starting here gaja <laughs> boy gaja looks like he about to pop the fuck off G and gaja doesn't even know what morris has been doing to lola pichica gaja hasn't even been hearing the screams lola pichica has been doing while being tested on by morris and gaja already looks like an absolute demon gaja looks like he has literally awoken his inner god and he is about to just let loose the fact that Tabata decided to shade Gaja's face to an absolute demonic looking face is literally insane and the way he's just holding his hand in a near fist like motion and the lightning bolts coming out of his body <laughs> oh, gosh I'm about to pop the fuck off man Gaja looked scary Bro, I, if anything, the most hype part about Black Clover Chapter 283 was seeing Gaja. Now, obviously, once again, the major amounts of death flags this adds to Gaja's character is just through the roof at this point. There are so many death flags in regards to Gaja, but I really, really do hope he does not die. But I can understand if he does because the death flags at this point are just 
through the roof. Now, obviously, Gaja has arrived. He's most, his magic ability sensing is really, really high. And especially with the lightning affinity, the same as Locke, he is most likely instantly going to be able to tell where Lolo Pachika is. I expect Gaja to go to save Lolo Pachika first. I believe he is going to save Lolo Pachika, but fighting Morris, I feel like Gaja is going to lose. But Gaja, man, oh my god, the dude looks like he's about to pop off. At the end of the day, his only mission is to save Lolo Pachika. He does not care about his own life, so that way I see him saving a little pichika and sacrificing himself so she can escape but man gaja looks scary dude looks he's about to murder someone and when he finds out oh my lord but anyway jumping back to the start of the chapter asta defeats the demon i am wondering what happened to the people on the on the floor because those people people were wild but anyway asta actually untransforms and this is one thing i want to talk about last week's chapter he said he has five minutes but as we've seen here and what he says here what well, that came undone way faster than i figured so it turns out asta can only hold his union form for like 60 seconds and this is what i was talking about i was like hold up five minutes is so broken what the hell do you mean five minutes so i'm really happy to butter when actually like undid what he did last chapter i don't think this was planned because they're, 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 it just doesn't make sense. Why would Asta say five minutes and then all of a sudden he's just wrong? I didn't think this could be uh, that Asta didn't realize or it could be something else. Asta transformed with the goal to stop the demon. The demon stopped. His transformation is undone. Remember, the first time they unionized, they had to have the same fault. Their brain lengths, him and Libe's, need to be on the same level it's similar to um, i don't really want to spoil much but attack on titan when Eren transforms to a titan he can't just be like all right fuck it whatever i want to transform now let's go uh, i'm transforming he needs to have a goal in mind he needs to have a vision in mind for him to transform if you remember attack on titan with the spoon scene so i feel like this is what's happening here it could be five minutes at its max potential before it becomes undone forcibly. But I feel like the reason why Asta's transformation became undone faster than the five minutes he originally fought is because once the demon was defeated, their goal was accomplished and him and Libe's brain forts were, you know, gone. Like, why, why would they be thinking about the same thing? So I am definitely interested to think, to learn more about Devil Union. Now remember, this is this only affects Asta because Asta went for an equal contract with Libe. This doesn't affect Noct because Noct forcibly forces his devils, even though they want to. It looks like Gimodelo and all Noct's devils are friends with Noct, but it looks like um obviously Noct forces them. But anyway, Asta goes through the portal and we see six shoes here i know the whole live chat was calling me foot fetish but guys can we take it seriously there are six sets of feet here uh, from my count now obviously it could be a little wrong now a lot of people have been saying henry no guys come on well we all read the same manga henry would kill every single one of them if he was near here gordon would have made the most sense but it looks like it won't be gordon because it looks like the last two feet are in a pair ladies and gentlemen i can confirm that this is zora and magna i'm so so sad tabata didn't decide to show us what zora and magna look like after time skip i am so excited to see what zora and magna are gonna look like i i really want them to to look absolutely cool the fact that he also didn't show vanessa gauche gray and gordon uh vanessa gauche gray uh and and finral could also be because they got new transformations as well so i'm really excited to see what these guys look like i don't expect major changes from Gosh Gray, Vanessa, Finral. I am wondering what their training was. We could at one point go back in time to see their trainings, but the fact that this arc is continuing and we're not, I thought we were going to see their training in the anime. So it could be uh, we see it in the anime once the anime comes back. 2023, 2024. I don't know, man. It's so sad when the anime comes back. But anyway, Asta reunites with the remaining Black Bulls in the Clover Kingdom and they set their path towards the Spade Kingdom. The other major thing I want to talk about is Fugualion. Fugualion, following the Vermilion tradition, decided to break through a wall, enter the battlefield in the Spade Kingdom, and Fugualion is absolutely demolishing these demons with the Fire Spirit Salamander. I am a little disappointed about this because I did want Fugualion and Nozel to do a tag team against Lilith and Nahama. I am interested to see how this is going to affect the future because 
obviously then they Lilith and Nohama are devils of the highest order. So w what is going on? Is Nozel going to stop Lilith and Nohama alone? Because obviously Jack, Jack is on his deathbed. Noct is basically on his deathbed. So what is going on? Who's going to stop Lilith and Nohama? Are we actually going to get a tag team love duo? Nozel and Dorothy? Oh my god, hold up, hold up, hold up. What if we got a tag team love duo? Nozel and Dorothy is one of the biggest ships in Black Clover. Uh, that a lot of people support uh, but a little secretly. But if we get a Nozel Dorothy tag team, that would be so, so cool. Uh, obviously, the chapter ends with the remainder of the Black Bulls and the Heart Kingdom squad showing up. Luck, look, and an absolute badass Charmy being an absolute legend. I'm excited to see what these guys have learned. It doesn't look like any of them are using any sort of ultimate magic at this point. I'm excited to see what they're going to do. Everybody looks super, super ready. And for once, Charmy is not playing around. Charmy is serious. And the final thing I want to talk about, it looks like Noel is actually dual wielding. And yo, I've wanted this from the very start of the series. I've wanted Noel to dual wield as soon as I knew she had Valkyrie Drive. I wanted Asta and Noel to like fight each other with like dual swords. That's honestly one of the coolest things ever. And it looks like this chapter, Noel is dual wielding in both hands. So I'm honestly excited to see the remainder of that. Obviously, we see the capes for Raya, Patri uh, Raya, Veto, and Fauna. Though we don't see them, we do see Patri hiding in the middle there, just behind Lux's thighs. Patry, woo, Patry is here. Obviously, I expect him to go save William. Patry death flags. I don't think Patry is going to die at the end of the day. Patry is a really good uh, character in the story. But ladies and gentlemen, that has been Black Clover chapter 23. Not much will change with this chapter other than Gaja. And obviously, Fuguelion being here, not being there for the tag team. Uh, Gordon, uh, Finral, Ghost Grey. Uh, and then obviously Zora and Magna's return, major things that will change. But other than that, it's a pretty solid chapter. It's a really big setup chapter, if anything. Not, nothing major happened. So I'm expecting next week's chapter to really set things in motion. Hopefully we see more of the ultimate magic and hopefully we see other things. I do have another theory of devils coming out later in a few days. I'll see you in the next video. My name is Shim, as always. Peace.